Hello guys, welcome to my channel Power BI with Rosh. My name is Rosh and today we're going to learn how to create dynamic title in Power BI. As you can see here, the titles are dynamic, showing which are results for HR, finance and IT. Uh, as I select the slicer, the uh, title changes as well as if I select nothing, it shows uh, results for all, right? So there are two levels here. So this is the beginner level and there is another level as well, which is an intermediate or advanced level. And I'm going to show you the dynamic title for uh, the slices that are higher hierarchical structure right so that have hierarchy structure like this so there's level one which is Sydney branch uh, level two which is finance HR and IT and level three which is anything underneath the level two right so I'm going to show you that as well but first I'll start with the uh, beginner one which is uh, pretty straightforward and easy to do I'll show you my data set first so I have a department uh, table that has three departments, of course, and you don't really need to worry about the ID because this is the only column we're going to use. And I have another hierarchical table, which is a hierarchical department. There is level one, which is Sydney branch, level two, and there are three uh, departments. And level three, we have um, almost eight or nine areas, right, underneath level two. So. First of all, let's start with the beginner one. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm just going to delete that because I'm going to create a new measure because I'm going to show you uh, from scratch and I'm going to ex collapse those as well. So for this, for just if you have just only one column to like uh, show your title that is based on just one column, if your title is based on that, then there's one simple DAX function that you can use which is called selected value. So if I create a new measure and I will say select uh, selected, okay, and I'm going to write the measure selected value and the selected value takes a column so um, if I put a department column here, so what it's going to do is whatever uh, we select is going to show uh, as the selected value. The selected will, if I select finance, it will be finance. If I select HR, it will be HR and so on. All right. So if I do that, and I'll just quickly drop that one here, and it will get uh, me the same uh, value because finance is selected here, so finance, HR is selected, HR, ID is selected, so IT, right? So I, what do we need to do now is now to change this to a title, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first uh, select a card visual, right? And I'm going to put it up there. Now this is a card visual and I'm going to drop that newly created measure called selected over here and it says blank because we need to set something else up as well but if I select the value it does show me the uh, selected value which is finance HR and IT so for the blank there is something you need to do and uh, there is another DAX that is used for that uh, which is called is filtered now what do you mean by if you have never used is filtered it's uh, pretty straightforward the, as the name says uh, it checks if something is filtered or not so we only have one column right so let me show you uh, what what uh, I mean by is filtered okay so I'll just create one um, and it takes a column uh, value as well so uh, is uh, each department filtered is just the name of the measure right and I'm gonna go is filtered and I'm going to select the department again which is department department that's the column that I'm using so now this function checks if uh, the selected value uh, if the column is filtered or not right so let me show you I'll create another uh, card there uh, another card and I'm going to put it the is department filtered over here so now it says false because we have not interact made any interaction with either this or the table so it says false because we is the department is not filtered now if I select finance it's going to show me true because now the department column is filtered 
right so it pretty basically uh, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward right now even if I select here uh, now it's gone yep it's gonna say true if I select HR it's gonna say true IT is gonna say true so anytime you, there is an interaction uh, with the column here the department column is gonna say true uh, if I delete that and if I put it this measure over here in the table is gonna say true because this is obviously filtered right right so if I select if I delete that and now if I get the department ID instead it's gonna say me false alright and I'm going to d not summarize it so this department ID is not false because department ID is not filtered we only have department filtered right so that's what it means basically so once we do that I'm going to drag these here selected and that and I'm going to do for this blank value is what I'm going to do is I'm cre I'll create a if statement okay so I'm going to be say if the department table is filtered not filtered sorry so I'm going to say is filtered uh, first is filtered if it is filtered then give me the selected value right if it is not filter then give me the value all okay so that's for all departments and which is going to replace our bank value okay so if I do that and you can see already there it's saying all over here because I haven't selected anything and the column is not filtered so if I select finance it's going to say finance HR IT and all if I don't select anything because we put a if and else statement right so that was easy now if you want to change the title and say uh, showing results for like something that I showed you earlier you can say like um, showing showing results for column and yeah space and go F and right so and is going to concatenate to text so I'm gonna go put the put this everything and just con concatenate with the te this text and it's gonna give me showing result for all showing so yeah, you can see already see there uh, showing result for finance, so for HR, showing result for IT. Now you can conditional, you can format these, uh, reduce the font size and everything, but I'll leave that to you. And I'm going to move to another level of uh, changing the dynamic title, which is how do we do this in a hierarchical data? Now this is something, uh, it's, it is like a bit uh, confusing at first, but I'll try to be as simple as possible okay I'm going to delete that and I'm going to use the same measure if that's okay with you guys uh, and I'm going to change you know what I'm going to create a completely new measure don't worry about it alright so I've already explained a is filtered uh, function to you guys right so this is a different table this is not a department this is the hierarchical department table alright don't get confused so I've already showed you how to use is filtered uh, function now we're going to use the same function. We're going to use the selected value as well as uh, is filtered, and but we're going to do it in a different way. So let me show you how. I'll go to another page. I've already got everything sorted. All right. So I've created in this uh, these cards is is level one filtered, similar to what we did for department. If is department filtered, similar to that. I'm showing if level 1 is filtered which is Sydney branch right and there's another one that is level 2 filtered and is level 3 filtered alright these are the three columns it takes three columns if you look at the top is level 1 is filtered level 1 is filtered level 2 and is filtered level 3 right so if I select Sydney which is everything the top level 1 that's gonna show me yes it is true but these two are not selected so these two are false if I select finance go on select that and select finance it's gonna show me these two are selected but the third level is still unselected and similarly if, you sele if I select accounting it's gonna say all of all three levels are filtered right so these all three are true so we just need to find a way to so if all three are true, so accounting if only two, uh, if only 
sorry. Oh. If only these two levels are filtered, show me finance, right? If only Sydney the, or the top level is filtered, then show me uh, Sydney branch. Okay, that's something we're gonna do. Now, how do I do? How do we do that? So we can do like true, false, true, false, and everything. But I'm gonna show you a very quick way to do so. Okay, so there is an interesting thing here. So if I, so we assume that true and false to be one and zeros. Can we do that? Yes, we can. So, right? so it's gonna give me one or zero. If zero is false, one is true, something like that. Okay, but I'm not. Ha I don't have to change anything. So I've already. What I'm gonna do? I'm create a new measure and tell you what I mean. Okay. So I'm going to give. I'm going to name it as a level. Okay. So level. Uh, I'm going to use the same measure. Is level one filtered? That's going to give me true if it is filtered. I'm going to add again is level 2 filtered to that and I'm going to add is level 3 filtered to that as well. So if all th of all three are filtered there's going to be three trues which are three ones and that will be three. If only twos are filtered that's two and one then one. Okay so let me just quickly uh, show you with an example with a visual aid instead of just uh, talking about it. Just going to get the get a card visual here right and I'm going to add the level now I haven't selected anything from here so it's showing me zero of course right if I select Sydney branch it's going to show me one because only one is true so one if I select finance it's going to show me two because two of these level two of the condition is true and if I select accounting that's going to say three because all three are true. So that gives us level. All right. So that's if I had that, that gives us level. So that's level one. That's level two. And that's level three. Right. That's pretty interesting. Now we're going to utilize this in a statement. OK. Now I'm going to get what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and create another major again. And I'm going to give this a second title because this is a second page because I've already created another title. So select uh, second title. Now we're going to use a function called switch. I think I hope you are familiar with a switch function. Switch is fun switch function is basically if you don't know what a switch function is, it's basically a, a multiple if else statement. So you must know if something is true that we did before but switch takes multiple if else statements so like a nested um, if else statement okay so that allows us to do that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, switch if level which is we've set is level one right if level one level is called to one which means if the level one is filtered then uh, give me selected value of uh, level one okay selected value of um, hierarchical part oh why you showing me that but let me quickly fix that I don't know why power bi does that sometimes anyway so I'm gonna go uh, hierarchical department level one give me that selected value and we all we've already discussed what the selected value does right now I'm going to copy paste this one okay if level is 2 and level is 3 so if level is 2 give me the selected value of level 2 right and if level is 3 give me the selected value of level 3 so and also I need to do I need to put these square brackets here because these are major okay so now if is zero which is else so in a switch statement we need to put else uh, so everything is not true then give me all okay now let's select let's see how it goes now okay so if one is true then give me the select value three if two this thing and this and that okay now I'm going to add a card again put here and I'm going to add the second title over there now all because we haven't select anything 
Sydney branch if I select uh, the top level finance branch if I select the finance level and accounting if I select the accounting so that's how it is going to s uh, let us have the dynamic title right so that's pretty straightforward I, I know it's uh, a bit confusing at first but I, I like please learn how to use switch the combination of switch is filtered and selected value because I'm only showing you how to create a dynamic title now but imagine if these were the targets dynamic targets so say you have a sum of cells right you have uh, uh, expenses or cells and you select Sydney and it's gonna compare to a target for all Sydney brands say one million dollars maybe for finance you had like uh, half a million dollars and the sum the measure is gonna compare to half a million and accounting you might have a different uh, target right and in accounting is gonna come say it's uh, one hundred thousand dollars so it's gonna compare to the one hundred thousand dollars and you can do custom uh, conditional formatting as well based on the dynamic uh, value of the targets so this is a pretty uh, good like a uh, practice to dynamically change the things you want right so as you select the targets gonna be dynamic um, and as you select uh, the title is gonna be dynamic and everything's gonna be dynamic so these three functions is filtered selected value and uh, switch these are uh, like a very good combination when you are working with anything dynamic and as a matter of fact I think I've uploaded I just remember that I have uploaded a video where yeah there you go set a dynamic targets or measures using is filter function where I have explained how we can set a dynamic target over there as well like you can come I'm comparing the measure which is the total sum of sales and everything with the dynamic target based on the hierarchy of the department so for the level one there's a different target two different target and three different target all right so that's everything guys please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos if you guys don't know me I upload tricks and tips videos that's gonna help you save a lot of time and uh, yep I'll see you next time thank you for watching my video